What's up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to be checking out how to control our Home Assistant, which through that controls the GPIO on our Raspberry Pi with the Google Assistant. So this is going to be a second video in that series. If that sounds something that you'd like to see, check it out right here, right now on M.I. Sperry. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my Home Assistant screen uh, brought up. Uh, there will be a link at the end of this video to check out the Home Assistant video. Uh, that is the one that shows you how to configure this and set this all up uh, initially. But for this video, we're going to be looking at how we're going to be able to control our GPIO through Home Assistant. I've got two test LEDs set up. Again, if you want to see how that's done, check out the video at the end of this one. This is going to be just a short intro video about it. If you want to check out more detail on how to get this all configured, you can check this out uh, at the link that is at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you will need to do after configuring your Home Assistant is you will need to install the Google Home Assistant on your Raspberry Pi. Could be the same Raspberry Pi as the Home Assistant is installed on, or it could be a separate one. In my case, it is a separate one because I'm gonna showcase that you could use a normal Google Home if you have one of those devices. It does not have to be a Raspberry Pi. However, I don't own any Google Homes or Alexas or anything like that, so I make my own. So anyway, check that video out too if you want to go back to the channel and see how to set that all up. So I've got that set up over here on the bench beside me. And the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to configure an if this, then that account. So I will have the link down in the description to this. Uh, it's pretty easy, ifttt.com. You'll go ahead and create a, an account here. And once you've done that, you will need to install a couple applets. Now to do that, you're going to come up to search. First thing you will need to do on this is you will need to type in maker. Okay. Now at this point, it is the maker webhooks is the one that uh, is available. It was called something else um, a little bit earlier when I did some searching and found some other YouTube videos about this. It was a different name, but currently it is web hooks. You will click on that and then it'll give you this type of a screen. But usually down here, it'll ask you if you want to install it onto your account. So you'll click install and then it will give you this next screen, which is on the settings menu. Now I have part of this URL down here blurred out because it is actually your uh, keys. Okay, it is the key uh, that you will install on your Raspberry Pi that has the Home Assistant on it. All right, so that'll be the one that you'll put this key into, and I'll show you how to do that briefly, real quick. Uh, but that's that's this uh, this if this then that URL. Uh, you'll need the key, which is right after this use statement. I have it blurred out so you can see mine. But that's what you'll need. So you need to not really take note of that. Just keep the screen up so you can cut and paste it in later. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and do that. So let's bring up a terminal. I have got my .yaml, uh, my configure.yaml file opened up here. Uh, if you want to know how that uh, is done, you can check out the Home Assistant video on how to set up Home Assistant uh, back on my channel. All you need to do is add these two uh, key phrases. You have the if this, then that, colon, and then you uh, indent a couple of spaces, and then key, colon, and then that's where you'll cut and paste that key in from the previous screen back here on this. You'll cut that in. I have that blurred out here as well. But just cut and paste it into here. It's all you got to do. Save it in your config and restart your Home Assistant. All right. Now, once we're done with that, I'm going to go back to our if this, then that. You will have um, go to my applets. Once you're there, you will click new applet. Now I've already made some, so I'll just walk you through it. But you'll click new applet, and you click on the this portion of it, and you will choose what. Okay, what's the first thing that happens? What's going to initiate this? So that's going to be the Google Assistant. So type in Google, and you'll choose Google Assistant. You will choose say a simple phrase. All right. What do you want to say? So what will trigger this? So uh, like for me, I said test. Um, I filled this out basically with the stuff that will activate it. So I said test, you know, activate test LED one. And you put in some optional phrases and you'll hit create trigger. Now the next thing that will happen, so I'm just going to fill out some random stuff because I'll show you what it actually looks like. You'll say create trigger. So that creates the trigger, which will come from Google Assistant. 
then you have to configure the that portion. Now the that portion is going to be the maker web hooks because we want to hook this back to our uh, Raspberry Pi that has the Home Assistant on it. So you click that, make a web request, and then you will fill out the pertinent data. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this all out and I'm going to show you the applets that I have already made. So to turn this LED on, what I have done is I have said, if you say turn off test LED one, then make a web request. Okay. And that's what it's going to do. And that was that first piece that you saw the next one. Here's the optional statements. And then I also have in here, the URL that says, uh, that gives the call. This is an API call. I'll have the link down in the description to the API calls that you can do uh, to call a uh, home assistant and pull in these APIs. This is the one that I used. I got my password blurred out here, but that's the one that uh, you will use. You need to create your external facing URL. I'll tell you in more detail how to do that. So you put in your URL there, the method you want to use a post. You don't want to use get, you want to use post request. You want to type, you want application JSON. That's the type that you want in here and you want to enter your uh, entry, your entity ID, which comes from your home assistant. So down here I have my switch definitions that I had already defined before for the GPIO Raspberry Pi. And again, those videos on how to control your GPIO with home assistant are back on my channel. So check those out. And I show you how to set these up. So that's how you set up the test LEDs and what ports and pins and all that jazz on your Raspberry Pi. And that's what this is going to correspond to. Switch dot test LED one. Okay. Which is our test LED one. All right. So it'll activate this pin 11 is what it's going to do. You save that. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Then your request is ready to go. I made one for a turn on and one for a turn off. So there's the turn off test. There's a turn on test. Okay. And then this was just an event trigger where I was just playing around with some information that was on uh, home assistant. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So in order to do that, I have VNC over to my raspberry Pi uh, that I have my Google home assistant on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up. So I'm going to CD to the ENV uh, CD to the bin directory. And I'm going to source the activate. If you don't, if you don't know what I'm doing here, you can check out uh, the video, my previous video on how to set up the Google home. And this is how you set this all up. So we're going to say Google uh, assistant demo, and we're going to fire that up. Hopefully that should start up properly. There it is. I'm going to turn on the microphone or the speaker so we can hear it. So let's make sure it works real quick. Okay, Google, tell me the time. Well then, okay, Google, what time is it? The time is 4.48 p.m. All right, she heard me. All right, so now, basically, if I utter the command to turn it on, you should see this test LED one turn on. All right, so here we go. Okay, Google, turn on test LED one. Sure, activating test LED one. There she blows. All right, now we can also turn it off. Uh, okay, Google, turn off test LED one. Voila, there we are boys in a, and girls in a nutshell. That is how that you use if this, then that along with home assistant and a Google home. And again, like I said, this over here that I have just kind of sitting on the bench next to me is just a Raspberry Pi um, with the Google assistant installed on it. You don't have to use the Raspberry Pi Google assistant. You can use a Google home. It works just the same. You can, so those of you that have a, a Google home and you just need to implement home assistant, let's say, also, another cool feature is Home Assistant, you don't have to install on a Raspberry Pi. You can install Home Assistant on anything, okay? Anything that's Linux-based, all right? So you create your own server. Well, guys, that's enough time for this video. Again, at the end of this, there's going to be a video probably in somewhere around in here or something. Well, down there or something. I don't know. Somewhere that I will put up that will be the in-depth go at this, and you guys can check this out. This is just kind of the short video version for those of you who just want to see maybe it working see if this is something you want if it's something you want to do check out the lengthened video and guys take care keep look keep building keep coding because that's what it's all about make sure to like subscribe and share these videos 
and follow me on Twitter and Instructables and all the different socials that you can uh, find on my channel. And we will see you next time.